Welcome back to the channel where medical topics are made easy. In this video, we're going to go over some common medical abbreviations for a bunch of different categories that you can see here. I'm going to timestamp these categories down in the description so that way it's easier to click on the ones you want to review. Don't forget to turn on the captions as well and read along. This will help with learning and retention. And as always, you can find the notes and charts for this video linked down below in the description. Let's get started. We're going to begin with common abbreviations that you might see with charting. And before we do that, hit pause in the video quick and try to name as many as you can, and then see how many you get right. So starting with AMA, that stands for Against Medical Advice. DC stands for Discharge or Discontinue. DNR, Do Not Resuscitate. HMP, History and Physical. HPI, History of Present Illness. HO, History of. NKDA, No Known Drug Allergies. PCP, Primary Care Physician. A&O, Alert and Oriented. WNL, within normal limits, RF, risk factors, SX, symptoms, DX, diagnosis, TX, treatment, NAD, no acute distress, UOP, urine output, INDO, intake and output, CO, complaint of, CC, chief complaint, ROS, review of systems. Next, we have another round of abbreviations you might see with charting. Again, hit pause in the video and try to name as many as you can, and then check your answers. DDX stands for Differential Diagnosis, MDM, Medical Decision Making, IBW, Ideal Body Weight, DOB, Date of Birth, ICU, Intensive Care Unit, MVA, Motor Vehicle Accident, GSW, Gunshot Wound, FX, Fracture, EBL, Estimated Blood Loss, BM, Bowel Movement, CP, chest pain, SOB, shortness of breath, DOE, dyspnea on exertion, STAT, immediately, CV, cardiovascular, GI, gastrointestinal, ID, infectious disease, SP, status post, FB, foreign body, ALS or BLS, advanced or basic life support. Moving on to vital signs, you might see these in charts as well. Again, hit pause and try to name them, and then see if you're right. VS stands for vital signs. VSS stands for vital signs stable. BP, blood pressure. HR, heart rate. P, pulse. RR, respiratory rate. T, temperature. SpO2 or SaO2, oxygen saturation. HTWT, height and weight. BMI, body mass index. Next, we have common lab abbreviations. How many of these can you name before looking at the answers? CBC stands for complete blood count. WBC, white blood cells. RBC, red blood cells. PLT, platelets. BMP, basic metabolic panel. CMP, comprehensive metabolic panel. LFT, liver function test. H&H, &H, hemoglobin and hematocrit. HB or HGB, hemoglobin. HCT, hematocrit. NA, sodium, K, potassium, CA, calcium, UA, urinalysis, ABG, arterial blood gas, PT, prothrombin time, PTT, partial thromboplastin time, INR, international normalized ratio, TNS, type and screen, TNC, type and cross. In addition to labs, there might also be imaging or other tests ordered. CXR stands for chest x-ray, ABX, abdominal x-ray, US, ultrasound, MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, CT, computed tomography, EKG or ECG, electrocardiogram, EEG, electroencephalogram, KUB, kidney, ureter, and bladder x-ray, PFT, pulmonary function test. Let's move on to abbreviations you might see associated with pharmacy. Most of these have to do with the frequency in which you give a medication. So starting with AC, that stands for before meals. PC stands for after meals. And the way you can remember this is A comes before P in the alphabet. So A stands for before meals and P stands for after meals. QD, once daily. BID, twice daily. TID, three times daily. QID, four times daily. QHS, at bedtime. QAM, every morning. QPM, every evening. QOD every other day, QH once every hour, Q2H every two hours, 
Q3H every three hours, PRN as needed, PO by mouth, NPO nothing by mouth, SC or SQ subcutaneous, IM intramuscular, IV intravenous, OTC over the counter. Next, we have some abbreviations for different medications or drug names. Try to name as many as you can and then see if you're right. BB stands for beta blocker, CCB, calcium channel blocker, ARB or ARB, angiotensin II receptor blocker, ACE-I, ACE inhibitor, NTG, nitroglycerin, ASA, aspirin, ABX, antibiotics, PCN, penicillin, TPA, tissue plasminogen activator, APAP or APAP, acetaminophen, NS, normal saline, D5W, dextrose 5% in water, LR, lactated ringers, ETOH, alcohol, HCTZ, hydrochlorothiazide, MTX, methotrexate, OCP, oral contraceptive pill, TMP, SMX, trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, MOM, milk of mag, PPI, proton pump inhibitor. Next, we have abbreviations for different diagnoses or conditions. Hit pause in the video and try to name as many as you can. CAD stands for coronary artery disease, HTN stands for hypertension, DM, diabetes mellitus, CHF, congestive heart failure, COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, MI, myocardial infarction, PE, pulmonary embolism, PNA, pneumonia, TIA, transient ischemic attack, CVA, cerebrovascular accident, ARDS or ARDS, adult respiratory distress syndrome, CKD, chronic kidney disease, AKI, acute kidney injury, ARF, acute renal failure, ESRD, end-stage renal disease, CF, cystic fibrosis, CP, cerebral palsy, IBD, inflammatory bowel disease, IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, UC, ulcerative colitis. Let's continue with more diagnoses and conditions. Starting with PUD, we've got peptic ulcer disease, GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease, ICP, intracranial pressure, TBI, traumatic brain injury, TGA, transient global amnesia, UTI, urinary tract infection, URI, upper respiratory infection, RAD, reactive airway disease, SBO, small bowel obstruction, DVT, deep venous thrombosis, RSV, respiratory syncytial virus, VF, ventricular fibrillation, VT, ventricular tachycardia, AFib or AF, atrial fibrillation, PVC, premature ventricular contraction, MS, multiple sclerosis, PD, Parkinson's disease, BPH, benign prostatic hyperplasia, RA, rheumatoid arthritis, OSA, obstructive sleep apnea. We're down to our last two categories, and we're gonna start with abbreviations associated with anatomy. Beginning with the abdomen, it can be broken up into different quadrants, especially when someone is referring to the location of abdominal pain or site of injury. Starting with RUQ, that stands for right upper quadrant, LUQ, left upper quadrant, RLQ, right lower quadrant, LLQ, left lower quadrant, and then we're gonna move on to the different chambers of the heart. RA stands for right atrium, LA, left atrium, RV, right ventricle, LV, left ventricle, and as we move to the extremities, RUE, right upper extremity, LUE, left upper extremity, RLE, right lower extremity, LLE, left lower extremity, and then going back to the abdomen, ABD stands for abdomen. The lung fields can be broken up and abbreviated as well. LUL or LLL stands for left upper or lower lobe, RUL, RML, RLL stands for right upper, middle, or lower lobe. CBD stands for common bile duct. OD, right eye. OS, left eye. OU, both eyes. HC, head circumference. Let's wrap this up with abbreviations you might see associated with treatment or care. Again, hit pause in the video and try to name as many as you can. BX stands for biopsy. ECMO stands for extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. FNA, fine needle aspiration, IND, incision and drainage, PT, physical therapy, OT, occupational therapy, PEEP, positive end expiratory pressure, CPAP, continuous positive airway pressure, BiPAP, bilevel positive airway pressure, K2, 
cabbage coronary artery bypass graft, IVIG intravenous immune globulin, ORIF open reduction internal fixation, NGT nasogastric tube, pre-op preoperative, post-op postoperative, POC point of care, aka above the knee amputation, BKA below the knee amputation, PPE personal protective equipment, IUP intrauterine pregnancy. These were some of the many common medical abbreviations out there, and hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that like button and comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to not miss out on future videos that make medical topics easy. And as always, you can find the notes and tables for this video linked down below in the description on the website. Thanks for watching, and I hope you check out future videos.